Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Thousand Year Door. Okay, so we're here on Keel Hall Key again, even though we just got out of the last chapter, but <laughs> uh, we're back here to make a little side trip to bring Frankie and Francesca back in order to cure the Don's worry, sickness, or whatever. So, and thankfully they're just in this little area over here and uh, all the fuzzies on this screen have cleared out, so that's nice. Oh hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? We do something for you? What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh no, and at a time like this. At a time like what? You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Well, <laughs> alright, better tread carefully here, Frankie. Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Bacon burger? None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, fine, you crazy dame. I love you, I love you, I love you, and he's gonna actually say it a hundred times. Yeah, they're not joking. We're actually gonna get a little counter to prove it, so <laughs> let's get going. If I have to sit through this, you have to sit through this too, so hopefully we can get through this quickly. It doesn't take that long as long as you just keep pressing B. As you can see, we're already at 50, so. And we're scrolling so fast that he can't even move while he's talking. His, his skirt's kind of bouncing up and down a little bit there, but <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Alright, there's a hundred. <sighs> there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> Even Frankie's like, what the heck, man? Now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Wow, you think these guys are going to be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Yeah, we probably should. We've got to find that ring and get back to the boss. But how do we find that teensy ring in this jungle that boggles the mind? Yep, sure does. What about you? What do you got to say? Now, wherever did it go? I'm positive it's somewhere between here and that skull rock. You know, that's not really helpful, because that's literally as far as the jungle goes. Yeah, so, of course, it's not going to be just there in that first screen hidden in the bushes like it should be. We are literally actually going to have to backtrack all the way back through this jungle again, even though we've already done it so many times for this chapter, you know. But, no, we got to do it one more time. And to make matters worse... Aside from getting into battles, it's not on this screen either. We're actually going to have to go pretty much all the way to the end of the jungle, which is uh, a little bit annoying, and I wish they hadn't have done that, but uh, I guess it's just one of those things you can't really do anything about, so. Alright, we're going to head across the bridge one more time. Nice scenic view there. And as we go over here, we should be able to see the ring sitting right up there. So it is, we get the wedding ring, a pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. Aw, isn't that sweet? Yep, so now we have to head all the way back and give it to him. And here we are. So give him the wedding ring. Ah, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Sure did. Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be on at the dock. Hurry back, please. All right, will do. And also along the way, uh, I picked up the little ice power badge that was there. You just uh, slip yourself through the bridge using your R turn to the side ability. So there you go. But now we've got Frankie and Francesca ready to go back to Rogueport to see uh, the Dawn and Daddy again. So uh, let's go ahead and head on out of here. I like this place, I really do, but <laughs> I don't know. By now I'm a little bit tired of it, so I'm pretty much just ready to get out of here. So let's hop back on the ship here. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Turn to Rogueport, amigo. Bueno, we are off. Cast off, mi amigos, to Rogueport. You know, mi amigos, that, that's actually improper Spanish. You know, if you have uh, if you have plural noun, amigos, friends, it would be mis amigos. You have to pluralize the, the me also, but... Anyway, proper Spanish aside, <laughs> uh, it's just kind of weird that they would do it that way. I mean, I don't know. This doesn't make sense to me, but either way, we're on our voyage to back to Rogueport. Uh, now that we found out Cortez doesn't really know how to speak Spanish. And we're going to drop Frankie and Francesca back off at the Don's place. 
And there's Luigi again. We've already talked to him, of course. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Yep, so after this, we're pretty much never going to be seeing or using Cortez again. He's pretty much just doomed to uh, sort of hang out on the docks here for uh, the rest of his life. So, uh, however long that may be. But anyway, as you may be able to have uh, seen, Frankie and Francesca pretty much just went on without us. So, uh, let's go ahead and meet them over there. It's a pretty quick jaunt when we're uh, hopping on Robin here, so... And we're almost there. Right through this door. Okay, maybe it takes a little bit longer than I thought. But <laughs> okay, now we're right on the doorstep. We're pretty much here. Daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Oh, you sound real concerned there, Frankie. Man, you don't look too good. Uh, still alive? Francesca? Daddy! Boss! <laughs> oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the Don of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa! Holy crap. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but, but boss you, you still got it in you. You're spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me? Boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the Syndicate, the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah, uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just be beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. Nice, and we got a train ticket for the ritzy train to Poshley Heist. Nice. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Hey, alright. Looks like this guy's finally starting to warm up to us now, huh? Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. And off goes Don Pianta. Frankie, we got lots of work to do. Now don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Yeah, pretty much. Sweet Bee, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee hee. <laughs> Underboss. Uh, uh, I mean, boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, but... Hey, yeah, it's pretty cool. We got our little connections in the Mafia now. Apparently, the, uh... The actual Don Pianta felt it was time to retire, so now, uh... We got Frankie in charge here, who's like a brother to us, so... Cool. We, we got some ties if we ever need some favors done, huh? Okay, so now we've pretty much set out to accomplish what we wanted to accomplish uh, with the whole Mafia side quest thing here. We've got our tickets for the Excess Express, which will get us on to Poshley Heights. Oh, what's going on now? Yes, yes, yes! We can go to Poshley Heights! Yes! That's six crystal stars as good as ours. Pretty much. Mwee! <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. Oh no, is that Beldum? I'd know that laugh anywhere. So, the Six Crystal Stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Oh, uh, yeah, of course it is. Hey, you're that Beldum. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. 
Instead, I'll just beat you to Pachali Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Mwee! <laughs> oh man. Well, that's not bad. We gotta get to Pachali Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Rogueport Station. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to race Belden for the crystal star. Had to uh, run our big mouths after we got out of there, but whatever. She probably would have found out eventually anyway. Okay, got another email. What's this one? Important things. Mailbox. Boo. Are you Mario? Did you get this email? Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email. Saving my captured friends. Uh, lots of treasures. Yeah, I already know. Enjoy your not so useless adventure. That's the only boo that was ever nice to us. The rest of them attacked us. I don't like your friends. They fought me. Okay, so yeah, this train is pretty much blatantly obvious. It's been here, uh, you, you probably noticed it whenever we had to take the blimp to Glitzville. But we're actually finally going to get to ride it this time, which is going to be awesome. Uh, pretty much the majority of Chapter 6, is that what chapter we're on? Is this Chapter 6? I think it is. But <laughs> pretty much the majority of this chapter, anyway. Uh, it's going to take place in the train, actually. So it's a little bit different, and it's a nice change of pace. Uh, may not be as action-packed as some of the other stuff that we've been doing, but... Uh, still a personal favorite of mine. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the part off here. I know we're a little bit early, but it, it just kind of seems like a good place to stop to me. So, uh, in the next part, we will board the XS Express and make tracks to Poshley Heights. So, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.